Hey everyone, welcome to Vuex tutorial series and in this video we are going to learn some core concepts of Vuex that is state, getters, mutation and action. Okay, so do watch this video till the end and let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have already set up my Vue.js project and if you do not know how to do this, then let's see the commands that you can run and quickly uh, get started. Okay. So first you need to install the CLI that you can do with this command. Okay. After doing this, we need to create a project that we can do with the help of this command view create and the name of the project. Okay. Or, or there's a second way, a second method also, like if you want to, uh, use this method, you have to first create a, install a global bridge. Okay. Then you can, um, run this method. I mean to say this command. Okay. View init webpack and the name of your project okay cool now once you have done this um, what i have to tell you is just keep in mind that if you are following me then do not configure a uh, view router and view x at the time of um, at the time of setting up your project okay because it asks uh, like it is going to ask you to configure your uh, project okay so just do not uh, install it at that time we are going to manually install both this uh, Vue X and uh, Vue router okay so once you are once you have set up your project let's go and let's install Vue router and Vue X and bootstrap for our project Okay, so once you have successfully installed Vue Router and Vue X, next step what you have to do is simply go and install, uh, run this command to install Vue Bootstrap. Okay, once this is done, we have to add uh, these bunch of lines in our main.js file. Okay, uh, like these four lines and these two lines to import the CSS. Okay, so let's quickly do it. Now simply run your project using command npm run dev. Okay, so now our project is running on localhost 8080. Let's see. Okay, so cool, our project is up and it is running. Now what we have to do is we have to configure a router and a store. Okay, so quickly. Uh, make a folder over here not here uh, we can also like configure our store in main.js file but I will just prefer to keep it like you know in a different file to make our code look more cleaner and make one file for routes Okay, so now next step is uh, let's um, this will be just a dummy component okay demo okay so that we can see some of the concepts of UX Okay, so now once uh, this is done, quickly set up our routes. Okay, here we will be importing the component. Yeah. 
uh, provided the path uh, let be root okay and the component is hello world okay so our routes we have set up our routes over here now simply uh, import it and configure it in main.js file import routes from routes okay now we have to specify over here view dot use the plugin that is view router okay now let's instantiate the router and the mode will be history okay and here also you have to uh, give your router and one more thing uh, here also we have to make the changes now we do not uh, we no longer need to render our component like this okay we can simply go ahead and add this router view tag okay uh, one more thing I do not like this styling that it provides okay so as you can see we have um, hello over here okay so now let's go ahead and quickly um, configure the store okay okay so for store uh, we need uh, first we need our view okay then we need our view x Okay, then we need to specify that we are using uh, then we need to specify that we are using this plugin that is UX okay now let's create the store Okay, we will be exporting it okay so now within this store we have to create the state okay so but before that let's uh, configure the store uh, I mean to say let's do the remaining portion over here uh, like the configuration that is left for store simply uh, import the store as it is a named export so we have to do it like this from store folder store yeah now simply mention the store over here okay so that portion is done uh, now let's define the state Okay, so as you can see state is simply an object okay and we can have our data that we want to access globally across like you know across other components we can simply write them down over here okay so for for an example for the like for this example I will simply uh, use one to do array okay so let's um, add its property let's assign it ID and give it a name like um, shopping at seven okay and done true
okay so we have one array in our state let's take one more uh, some more data okay a count variable okay its initial value will be zero okay so I hope uh, till here everything is clear like how to set up router and how to configure store okay so this is how we define our state in our within our store okay and so this is it for this video I will catch you up in the next video because the video is getting quite lengthy and we will learn about action mutation and getters in the next video so stay tuned and thank you for watching do like and share and subscribe to my channel.